Hello there, this is E.M. Fresh for Fresh to the Extreme. And right now I am riding at Killington uh, Bike Park in Vermont here. And in the screen you're going to see some uh, my uh, New Jersey brothers and sisters here. And uh, they've allowed me or invited me to ride with them. I think they saw that I was kind of uh, down. <laughs> and uh, Actually, I kind of was. I was tired from riding in my, uh, uh, my bike tour here. But, uh, and my arms are really tired, or very tired, really tired. Okay, so in the picture there, you see in the re yellow bike, that is, I believe, Art. The young lady there is uh, Claire. Then Javier with the green gloves. And then to my right, uh, you'll see him coming to view there, is uh, Todd, okay. Also not shown yet is Jeremy. He, he, he was having uh, bike troubles. You guys are probably go fast. Uh, right, so. He was riding oh, yeah, some of the running bike. bikes here at the uh, oh, uh, at yeah. Killington. You will see him in a few of the shots. I'll point him out to you. Uh -huh. But uh, let's begin. Okay, I'm going to be the star of the show for a moment. Uh, that's me in the front with the little uh, neck brace on, the pink neck brace. Uh, Thank you, Todd, for uh, filming me from behind. Um, pretty good to see how I move and how you can also hey, see how rough it is when okay. you're riding. Of course, the session doesn't feel like that. It feels kind of like a, a couch, uh, except uh, on braking bumps. But it feels uh, pretty good. But man, I don't look too bad. And uh, as if you hold on here, uh, Stick with me. You'll see uh, Todd and and uh, and uh, Hob uh, Javier, Sebastian, uh, Art uh, go off of uh, the uh, cable drop. And so I didn't do it because I chickened out, pussied out. <laughs> and uh, I ride some new trails uh, here. Uh, I think one being I think uh, it's Snake Bite. And uh, and Steel Panther, Steel Panther, that's the one. Uh, and just to note, I would never, ever have ridden these some of these trails without these guys being here. <laughs> some of these trails are very, 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 very technical, very gnarly, man. I'll tell you what. And uh, they're pressing me, they're pushing me. I don't wouldn't go this fast. You see me moving up there? <laughs> I just don't want to be that guy. They talk about, you know, I'm pushing my limits here. My arms are tired. Uh, but it was cool. I'm glad they uh, allowed me to ride with them. Uh, at the beginning there, I had to get my mind right. And uh, they, they stuck with me. So uh, thank you guys for for believing in me and uh, pushing me to my limits here. Um, so uh, right now, we're, this is just some uh, highlights of the end of, I think, Krusty and Sideshow Bob uh, later on in the day. Uh, and so, uh, yeah, I'm turning, I'm twisting. A little drop there. We're moving out right here, buddy. Checking those corners. See those braking bumps? Oh, man, those hurt your hands so bad. <laughs> I had to slow down right there a little bit. It's my, I had a little bit of arm pump. Yeah, that's the only thing that's stopping me from going, uh, from doing some of these, taking these corners quick. It's just, I just can't hold on uh, to the uh, bars. Ooh, a little jump there. <clears throat> I said before, this is tied behind me. And in front of me, that is, I believe that's Art in front of me. These guys are so fast. Uh... I'm pushing limits on my body just to keep up with them. <laughs> I don't know how they go so fast in those braking bumps. So I believe Todd is riding an evil. Evil something. Evil offering or something like that. Pretty cool looking uh, bike. We're weaving in these in these turns. These turns are no joke. And in case you join me uh, through Trail Force, we were at... Uh, Killington uh, bike park. We're on the Rams head side the more uh, technical side uh, for uh, 
advanced riders. I can say I'm an advanced rider now. Ooh, little drop there. Like I said, I'm pushing the limits of my speed. I don't. I wouldn't go as fast if these guys weren't in here, weren't here with me. Okay. Here's like the end of my highlight film for myself. But uh, keep watching. Don't stop watching. Um, we're going to do some uh, uh, blue magic and uh, sideshow Bob. All right. We're just the end of. Uh, Let's see, this is the... Okay, this is just highlights of myself. I don't know where I'm at, actually. <laughs> uh, I just like, it's just very interesting seeing myself uh, ride. I was like, who's that? That guy looks pretty good. It's a little short clips. Me going fast. Faster than I normally go. Okay, so here we are. There's Jeremy right there. He he uh, had a little bit of bike trouble. He's freaking shred too. I don't think he thought he could, but he was for, to me. I think we're on uh, step it up right here. A lot of braking bumps. I just seem to can't get used to this uh, step it up. I think maybe my uh, the fork or something. I just the fork just seems like it's not set right to <laughs> I'm set up just like the manual says but I think I gotta do some other things here's the bottom of uh, step it up he left me behind right here because <laughs> it went so fast okay we're at the top here we're doing uh, some sideshow Bob here some highlights here and there uh, somebody's behind me that's why I'm going faster than I normally go. You hear me just screaming because my my arms are just killing me from those braking bumps. But you can't stop because you have people behind you. Some more uh, sideshow bob here. We're headed over to the uh, K... Uh, one gondola to uh, ride those new trails oh, I was talking shit. about the cable drop oh there's a new one I think it's called uh, Foxy Rocks I never did that one before and here's a uh, steep berm I think Sebastian's behind me telling me just to stop holding my brakes <laughs> I'm holding them up but I was just like I'm just so scared going around the steep GoPro doesn't show how steep that is it's just like, you know, you turn the corner, it just like drops straight down. It's just like, oh, my arms are tired. They were telling me if I didn't hold on the brakes, my hands wouldn't be tired. <laughs> because what's happening is the vibration, when you're hold, when it's not completely in contact with your grip, and you're trying to press the brake, it creates that arm pump. It makes it worse, you know, so your hands get tired because you're trying to ride the brake instead of just holding on to the handlebar. Or holding on to the grip but uh, I just think there's even then I, my arm was tired even just uh, or my forearms and my just my hands I got calluses all in my hands you know the bad thing happened is uh, right now I didn't know it but you hear some cracking sound my link uh, screw the washers come out so I'm not riding the link is just snapping popping I didn't realize, I thought it was my GoPro camera, and uh, it actually is not. It's my, uh, it's a link about to come loose. I'm glad it didn't, it would have been disastrous. There's more fast sections. I got somebody behind, I think it's Todd behind me, I'm trying to keep up. But other others are really far up, up there, they can just go so fast when they're riding here. I'm just like, I... I'm going as fast as I can go. My my, little, my uh, arms can take me here. So I'm not riding alone. They're just fast. <laughs> they're probably about 10 seconds up there. Yeah, they don't hold the brakes at all when they go around this stuff. I'm just like, oh. 
There is, I think, uh, Art ahead of me, I think. And everybody else ahead of him. They stop and uh, wait. I don't know if they're resting. I think maybe they're just waiting for me. They were saying that their arms hurt and hands hurt too, but I don't think so. I think if they did, they'd be going slower. <laughs> but at least I'm not that far behind. Usually, if I when I rode here before, I try to ride with people, and they just I think I text too long, and they just uh, leave me behind. But at least I was able to uh, keep up somewhat. And I believe uh, the bottom of uh, Blue Magic was closed. And so you'll see us riding something, a trail called Escape Artist, which I've never rode before. Uh, it comes off of Krusty. And then you can, when you get to the middle of uh, the halfway I'm point. I'm jumping now. Huh? All right, that in front of me is uh, Claire. I'm not that a is, uh, off. you can shred, I'll, that's, uh, Sebastian or Javier's, uh, wife right there, and she can go, she can jump, man, I was like, whoa, look at that, <laughs> I was like, man, look how high she can go, they're, and they're fast, all of them, I'm trying to keep up right now, this is the blue magic, this is just some highlights, I'm just cutting so that you won't see how far I'm getting left behind <laughs> by everybody, and I'm going my best, I'm doing my best, y'all, I'm trying to, you know, but just think what it is when I go around those curves, or those uh, curves, or the berms there, switchbacks, I just hit the brake and I just lose my speed. <clears throat> anyway, I'm making clearing them now, though. I'm clearing some of these uh, tabletops. Here's uh, a quarter way down. That's so Jeremy. I think his tires, he's afraid his tires are going to come down, which it does. The cut came on uh, Gat Flat. <clears throat> I think it was, he was riding a Rocky Mountain Slayer or something like that. Alright. See if I can keep it with Claire. Nope, she's gone. But I'm clearing though. I'm clearing some of these, these, uh, these, uh, tabletops pretty easily. Again, this is Blue Magic. Just some highlights. You'll see me do Blue, Ma Blue Magic a lot. Blue Magic and Black Magic are my favorite trails here because they're a flow trail. And uh, they're smooth for the most part, as long as no one's been riding on them too much. And so that's why I come to uh, Downhill, or come to Bike Park so I can get smooth trails. Okay, so here we are at the uh, gondola. We're riding up to the top to do those new trails I was talking about. <laughs> These are at the top. You come down that where that picnic area is at the top. It's clear in front and everybody else. There's some steep, uh, it's supposed to be an XC trail here, but it's pretty rocky right here. The, the uh, rocks are loose. And uh, one falls move, that's your ass uh, falling just right on the rocks here. Oh, I'm good. Okay, I'm here. They're asking, you're supposed to ask me, I want to go. I'm like, no, you can go ahead and go. You're doing fine. You're doing this fine. is the light. And this, the light takes you to the cable trail where the cable drop is. Very dangerous. I would never do this. Do this on my own. And from this point on, excuse me if you hear me cussing a lot. You know, I know. You know, I'm a born again Christian, but sometimes, you know, this is. I have to cuss. I'm sorry. Sorry, Lord. <laughs> no, this stuff is just plain scary. And so, uh, if you have children watching, you don't want them to curse. I highly suggest they don't watch this. This is going to get even worse from here. Uh, for the most part. And this stuff is really rocky and, and, and steep. GoPro does it no justice. Okay, I should have brought my uh, slash here. There's a lot of pedaling back there because this is basically XC trail um, and most of these that mix with downhill trails so you gotta know where you're going. Okay, see where the cable drop? This is where I pussy out. Look at that drop right there. This is, I don't know how high that is, maybe 10, 8 feet or so. 
But here's Todd here. He gave me his footage. I'm just gonna look how high he jumps. Uh, there's a gap right there too. Okay, I'm I'm gonna take a I took a front picture. Here they come off the, from the front. That's no joke right there. You see him get kicker, that kicker kick him up. Um I don't know what I'm going for. I didn't want to fall. <laughs> it's a long way back, long way for a call for oh help. I'll be laying there with my mangled body <laughs> on the ground. <laughs> Maybe next time. I still don't feel confident in my uh, in in dropping off something that large on the session yet, because that fork doesn't feel right. It doesn't feel like, you know, it doesn't feel like it's supposed to. You know, not like the Fox Thirty Eight or uh, my Zep. You know, so just something's not about. It. Maybe it's just the stanchion. But anyway, here's the cable trail. Uh, the rest of it, after you go off the cable drop, you can. I just took the B line there. And there's uh, Jeremy is clear. She's taking it, buddy. I've never seen uh, a girl do that before. <laughs> I mean, you know, not saying, not trying to say that they can't. But I'm just like, wow. <laughs> You're just taking it. No, just sliding around, everything. Okay. I think if I had, if I didn't have the session, I don't think I would be able to do this. The session just eats up everything, and when I want to fall, it doesn't make allow me to fall. It just like stays straight up, even though it's the the uh, turns are very tight. It just stays straight, like charges straight, just plows through it, you know. <clears throat> and so that's how I'm able to do this. I am not a skilled person. You know, riding on this stuff. It might seem like it, but I am not. It's just the, it's just the bike doing the work, taking the, uh, doing the hard part. All right, so here is I forget what it's called. I missed my, I think it was Foxy. No, no, it's still the cable trail. It's just the bottom of it. Very tiring. Very demanding on your body. Even though you're not pedaling, you know, you, some of us get laughed at for doing this, but it's very taxing on your body because you're I'm holding yourself in the plank position. Okay, here's Foxy Roxy. This is a uh, double black. All these are double black diamonds, for the, uh, I think. Yeah, all of them that we've been riding up here so far. So for the cable trail, A line or B line, but uh, from here on out, it's double black. Yeah, so you better you gotta come with your skills. Make sure your arms are fresh. You know, as long as you don't slam your front brake, you can get down and stuff. Shit. <laughs> yeah, that session is just holding me up. It just looks like I'm a pro, but I'm not. I'm just holding on to the for dear life. And you ask why do I do it? It's because it's fun as hell. It's very fun though. As long as you don't get hurt or fall. <laughs> Some sharp uh, switchbacks here. Oh, sharp turns. This is uh, almost vertical. Only the roots to break you. And those those uh, turns slow you down to help you to slow down without you know, killing your hands too much. I'm showing the entire uh, Foxy Roxy because uh, I've never done it before. So anything you see me cut through, I've done it before. You'll see it many times. But this was a nice uh, technical double diamond. Stop to get a break, oh, Javier <laughs> and, and uh, Todd are like, "Oh, this is what you do. Don't mess up." <laughs> I think they did this a few times before. They tell me which side to go on. Otherwise, if I don't, I'll slide off. I came on a last year. I came up here. I just rode that XC down. I took one trail. It was pretty easy. I think it's a blue. I forget what it's called. Right, here's a little fire road. 
Okay, now we're going to take a, a trail called the Gambler. I've never done this, so we're going to show... I'm going to show it all the way through without stopping. Okay, they're telling me, they're telling me, hey, buddy, you better... Okay. Open so up. Don't follow uh, Art, uh, Javier, oh, or uh, or Ty because that's your ass. They're gonna drop off something just hideously. I don't know how they can do that, but they just do it. <laughs> you know, you know, something I just couldn't do. I just my mind, my mind is not strong enough. It's getting stronger, but not today. And you'll see here in a second. The trail they break off is called, uh, that clearest time is called Snake Bite. And uh, I'm staying on the Gambler. This, the Gambler is like a beeline. Okay, I think they. Oh no, there they are. No, they're still on Gambler. It's just, there's a side trail coming up here. You see them slowing down and. You know, doing that breaking drop. See, now they're going here. I'm about to follow them, and that was my ass right there because I wouldn't, you know, yeah. I wouldn't been ready. <laughs> it was like to the right. If you want to, if you want to live. <laughs> okay, so I was uh, following. This is, this is still technical. There's nothing. Uh, uh, matter of fact, it was probably easier to go if I just went down snake bite actually. <laughs> this is harder than the uh, snake bite because you have to go all the way around and it's a double black on oh, this gnar, gnar what do you call it a little skinny here keep your focus because this is a little drop there there's a beeline like, it would have been, been easier just to take the drop right there on the right right there yeah. that's what I'm starting to notice about something you can drop off of stuff. You can save yourself uh, some uh, hassle. So I did that drop and then take the beeline. Say, so let me grow a pair and get off, and not hurt myself too much or destroy my body. Okay, so we're almost down to the uh, bottom here. And uh, so where this, uh, the gondola connects to is like, uh, I guess the top of Easy Street. And then you can take that back or that uh, fire road. You can do Easy Street or you go, um, I forget what it's called, Jump Start. That's what it's called. You can do the two. I think we're going there. When we get to the bottom, we're going to take uh, a Jump Start. Anyway, there is... Jeremy, not Jeremy, that's uh, Art right there. Oh, shoot. Whoa, I'm gonna fell off. <laughs> <You're>, <laughs> those uh, bridges come out of nowhere. Okay. One thing the session does is uh, I don't have to rest as often as they do. There, I, there's a, something about the geometry of the session just makes it more couch like. I'm not going very fast, but I think my stamina. The bike absorbs most of the shock. So they got the uh, dual crown or the single crown, like enduro bikes oh, and uh, all uh, mountain bikes. All called all mountain bike. Okay. So I can pretty much just slow but steady wins the race. You know. So it seemed like I'm a pro, but I'm not. It's just the the bike does all the work. Okay, so we're almost down. That's easy street right there. But we're gonna take. Uh, Jump start. Back to the beginning. Here's a few highlights of jump start. Jump start, I'm getting starting to get pretty good too. It's a pretty good flow trail too. To me, it's a little more uh, technical than the uh, Blue Magic in a way because the turns are tighter. You see me get up and holding air only because these guys are in front of me. I'm trying to keep up. And Gal are in front of me. I'm sort of casing some of these because I like being able to see where I'm going to when I'm jumping. I got a little air there, but I didn't have enough speed. Okay, I kind of made it. Damn, okay, I made that one sort of. Really tired, we just come off that mountain there. 
So we're going to take a little break. We wrote a lot more, but I'm just going to... Uh, so we're going to jump to Steel Panther. And I'm going to show you the entire Steel Panther. This is, you go up down side of Bob and you make this left right here. And this is just a double black... Horrible. It's it's uh, this is this is tight right here. This is a tight trail. I think we have some falls here too. <clears throat> I'm gonna slip myself a few places. The ground is loose, so right there. And we're all tired actually, so. When you get tired, your arms get tired, your body's tired, you start making mistakes. And so, but yep, resting a little bit. And it's tired. Now look how vertical this is. Even the GoPro is showing it. It's just like they just disappear <laughs> out of sight. I'm like oh, trying to turn this sharp corner. The session's so large, so long. Uh oh, Where'd what happened to go? Jeremy? Or Art? That's Art right there. He oh, hits the rock there? or something. <laughs> Great save, though. I thought he was around. inside the uh, trees there in the bushes. <laughs> but he just jumped off, I guess. Okay, so this is Steel Panther. Alright, now here's a really almost bust my ass right here, too. There we go. Alright, I think it's right here is where I almost mess up. Ooh, see the tires got up under me. Right. I was leaning back, and I should be leaning forward. That's the weird thing about the session. It's usually I lean back like more, but this like likes you to lean <laughs> forward, like more forward onto the wheel, and the back just stays really stable. I go by like I did again. You know, you have confidence because if you lean forward, you think you're going to flip over, but it, the session holds you up. All right. There we go. Thanks, the Panther. <laughs> that was that way. That's a little, that was the Panther. Right there. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Dad, yeah. we made it Spend down without dying. Oh, yeah, I almost, I almost that made it right there. Yeah. Okay, so this is the end of uh, Upper Steel Panther, which runs in the side of Bob. There, you see some bikers coming down really fast. Um, if you need to see Sharp Show Bob, just look at some of my my YouTube videos of Side Show Bob. Okay, took a little break. Now we're doing Lower Steel Panther, which is a work of art, in my opinion. We did this a few times. This is my first time down it, so I don't know how these guys, well, I think they did it a few times. No, this is their first time, too. I don't know how they do this stuff blind. And it looks like no one's been, been using this trail all day. I think it's because it's so scary because you drop in that little hole there. <laughs> but this is vertical, but it's a vertical flow. It reminds me of Southeast style or southern style on at Canuga. It's just down, but you can jump down like really high. It's like weird how they make these trails. So it's a really fast trail. If you can do it fast, I'm scared because it's so vertical. I'm just sliding down my brakes here. I think they're already done by now. <laughs> Take this little bridge here. Okay. Yeah, we do this one more time. I still do it slow. I just this it's just such a fast trail, and I'm tired as well. So, um, but this is just the first uh, clip of it. All right. On the right there, you can take the A line and then do some jumps there. There's Javier, or Sebastian. He must have uh, did the jump there. Those guys are so fast. We'll drop there. The reason why I'm trying these up top is because I see Javier doing them. He didn't die, so I got kicked up there. So I'm getting a little uh, confidence from his riding up front. <laughs> there you go. Yeah, if they're in front of me, if someone's in front of me, I can pretty much do the that I've never done before, but I've got to be towed in, as they say. But I ain't, if I'm by myself out here, I'm not going to bust my ass and not be found uh, my mangled body <laughs> poked into some branches or whatever. 
Okay, so we're at the bottom of Steel Panther. We should be coming out here. And you can take this really fast. It's a really fast flow trail. It's a black diamond flow trail. Kind of like, uh, I think it's a double black diamond flow trail. Um, but all that means is, not to be scared of the term black diamond, it just means that, you know, it's not going to, there's no stopping. Don't stop and you'll be fine. Because you have people coming behind you. Oh. All right, and then mm -hmm. it just connects back with Sideshow Bob here at the bottom. And so here are a little bit of highlights at the bottom. See me going faster because I've done high Sideshow Bob a few times. So some clips there. Still trying to keep up with these guys, but I just can't. They just go faster. I'm trying not to hold the brakes, but uh, the braking bumps just get me every single time. All right there, so that's the end of this video. There's way more footage, even Todd had a lot more. I just couldn't put it all in. We'll be here for two, three hours. Um, but if I had before, thank you for subscribing. And go ride Killington too, if you haven't. So it's one of my favorite, actually the, my favorite bike park. I know it's Snowshoe, but uh, lo my local bike park. Uh, but this is my favorite. I wish I lived here so I could ride this every day. <laughs> And so, uh, again, thank you for watching. Thank you for subscribing. Uh, if Todd, uh, Jeremy, Claire, Sebastian, who else? Art, thanks for riding with me. Friends, of course, we're going to ride some more. And uh, stay tuned for more videos. This is just the end of size your bottle. I thought it was over. <laughs> Sorry, if you're still watching. Okay, now it's the end. Okay, now it's time for me to uh, go home or go back to the hotel and lie in the uh, hot tub <laughs> and, and, and soothe my wounds.